just like, in that case, let's go ahead and, I don't know, migrate, immigrate rather, leave, I'm out. Unless, you know, someone actually accosts me like an NPC whenever I fucking leave, I'm out. Nope, uh, no one stops you on the way out. Um, cool. Snowman doesn't even seem to acknowledge uh, you except to give Coyote a nod. All right. Fantastic. Coyote returns a nod and walks out the door. Yep. Twitch is going to head on out, too. So what uh, True Sayer is actually going to do is uh, he's already got the stuff that he wants to uh, have with him, so... He's going to uh, to take the uh, the monocycle straight to fun setting, and uh, I mean there are definitely parking spaces that he can pay for if not with his lifestyle there. If that wouldn't cover the cost, then he can actually use Nuyen from an account, you know, buy like a twenty four hour parking space zone. No, uh, you should be able to find somewhere to park, especially yeah. with considering you're on a monocycle. Yeah, that's true. Sayer's already got uh, what he wants. He, you know, dressed to kill as he often ends up being, and uh, he doesn't need to stop by home again, you know, just in case Mr. Drone Man also sends a drone after him to find out where his home is. That'd be rude. True Sayer's just gonna go straight to Fun City and get a, get a scope for it. Even though he's lived in LA for a few years, he still doesn't exactly have a lot of area knowledge, so uh, it'd be helpful to you know, look around, you know, especially the hotel itself, and he is going to switch to, uh, it's not like, a. you just have to be broadcasting, you don't have to be active about it, you can be passive, is that correct, Sean? Yeah, uh, unless someone tries to actively call you, uh, you're, no one can tell active from passive. And even uh, then, they can't tell the difference, they just see that you ignored them. There is no koala you should be able to copy that on multiple maps, Sean. You, there's uh, no koala for me to change my states on the overworld now. Well, that's strange because he's right there. I'm able to change now. That's good. It just said the token name of ID lib sr4 unknown. And, uh, yeah. Crusader is uh, off from the meeting, and he's going to head uh, down I-5 towards Fun City. Vice will head on home because Jurassic doesn't have anything on. Which means you have to put on his form-fitting bodysuit, get the armored jacket. Mm. He, he's probably going to bring the pistol with him. He's going to take the silencer off because the silencer is a forbidden thing. And once he has that and everything and he's, he's ready to go, he's going to uh, probably then immediately head down to Fun City as well. Now, is there a role I can make to see what he, what Vice knows about Fun City? Because he does have area knowledge LA. Then roll area knowledge LA. I will do that as well. Is your yours is area knowledge LA too? Yep. One hit. Well. Neither of you know any sort of dirty secrets or any major sh stuff like that down there. It's just, it's a tourist trap. Front to back, the entire thing's, the entire thing's owned by Horizon. Everything is either directly or, a, or owned by sub Horizon or owned through a subsidiarity. There is not a square inch that is owned by anyone else. And Horizon's police force, Horizon has specific police force just for the area. So, that's, um... So, if you end up running into anyone, they're going to be too smiley and too nice. Um, 
Twitch actually knows that there's sort of humanist something down there, but that's about it. Doesn't know any details about it, just that the humanist in the humanist uh, club in uh, in LA is based out of uh, Fun City. And is Fun City basically like an outgrowth of Disneyland or something? Yes, it is actually was Disneyland. All right. Or part of it was. Now it's Disneyland Plus. And it is uh, a large chunk of it is amusement parks. And uh, not just normal tourist trappy, but these that sort of style of idealized setting. All right, and uh, where's the Long Beach Airport? F on our map there. You Can you see that right. cursor? Yeah, I can see it. And is that any specifically corporate territory? It's kind of owned by Horizon, kind of owned by PCC, Pub Public Corporate Council. It it's, goes back and forth in terms of the exact nature of who owns what spot. Um, that said, it's controlled by Horizon. Uh, okay. To my understanding, of course, my character doesn't know this, but from what I read in the Corporate Enclave's book, whenever Long Beach Airport itself was threatened, pretty much every corp contributed to building the walls up so that they did not lose Long Beach. Uh, I might be incorrect on that, but I, I think all of them were like, nope, that's not yeah, happening. He yeah, all the corps have some stake into it to some extent. Uh, all well, all the corps that really are active in the area, like uh, Seder Crump, sort of stays out of L.A. Um, a couple of other corps stay out of L.A. Just they just don't want anything to do with it collapsing into the sea again. Uh, so they do have a stake. That said, Horizon is the controlling one. It's if you're going through something, ninety percent is probably through Horizon. Uh, Vice is switching to hit one one of his uh fake sins. The uh one with the rating of four. The so-called George Lopez sin. Okay. Um, and uh, was there any? Oh, uh, one thing I did want to make sure, Coyote. Uh, with Coyote is what drones are he taking? Yeah, I was going to ask that. The first question is um. If I'm going to be wheelman, I need room for three passengers. Uh, I was thinking of taking three medium drones. Uh, I, well, that all actually, fit uh, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, Cripson, but if we actually do extract her, then we're going to need room for four passengers. At maximum. At maximum, yes. Fair enough. It's it's yeah. Either which way, you'll be able to hold them all and all your drones shoved into the back. It's just a matter of how shoved into the back they are. Right, I'll tell you what I'm taking. I'm taking the uh, Optics X, which is a small drone. I'm working from memory here. Um, and uh, I'm leaving the Doberman. I'm taking the Roto Drone. Um, uh, the Ken Mushi, obviously, the Fly Spy, and the modified GMC Chariot. I'm heck, basically, I'm leaving the Doberman because that's big. Everything else is small enough. I can just put it in pockets and stuff. Oh, I'm taking the orderly. He's always in the back of the car, so I didn't mention that. He actually has his own uh, uh, attachment in the back hatch, so for easy deployment. So the only thing you're leaving behind is the Doberman. Right. I'll set him to guard the place. Um, so, yeah. Okay. And uh, so I think Twitch mentioned going to grab Comlink and then immediately going down to uh, Fun City? No, nah, Twitch is actually going to pack a bag, get a uh, shitty uh, plastic backpack and uh, 
loaded up with uh, some changes of armor just in case the situation necessitates it. Um, as well as uh, her lockpick set and other simple tools. Basically an overnight bag. And then, yeah, blazing on down the road. Yeah, actually for this, I don't think we're going to get into a gunfight. Probably we will, but he doesn't. So he's not going to take the road or drone either. So there we go. So, Only because... Uh, uh, okay. Um, can everyone go ahead and roll their sins rating? He wants to roll our sins, right? Yeah, you have the rating of your sin. The one that you're using to get into and walk around in Fun City. Right, well, Twitch will be using her normal one for now. She only switches over to the shitty one when uh, time comes to do actual legal stuff. Nope. <laughs> I think that means that I get asked questions about it. <laughs> like, where were you born? <laughs> what country are you from? <laughs> Uh, is Timbuktu a country? Well, uh... Uh, Truth there gets stopped a little bit, harassed a little bit by, uh, uh, court police, but, uh, ultimately not doing anything. Not really doing much of anything Ill illegal or anything like that. Uh, the, do you have anything that's, uh, restricted that you don't have a license for or anything that you don't have a, that's forbidden? I have nothing forbidden other than the, uh, the fake sin and licenses and, uh, uh, you know, according to what you're ruling itself, uh, the licenses I have are for the HK227X, the glasses, and my sustaining focus. That, those are all protected. I'm good to go. Then, uh, after some harassing, uh, patting you down, uh, uh, just basically stop and frisk. It's, uh, eh, can't find anything. Go anyway. Probably enough to make him lose his head start. That said, they're cheery through the entire thing. Even when they grope you. Yep, even when they grope you, they are smiling. It's the smile that kills you in the end. Cursayer, of course, you know, knows that the only reason they're so smiling is because they have the entire backing of Horizon behind him, and if he ever did anything to them, there would be so many reinforcements called down in, like, five minutes. <laughs> nah, they just implanted them with a persona fix that uh, makes them unreasonably happy. It could be both. What do you think about that, Aaron? <laughs> I think it's actually pretty likely, now that you say it. See, it's not just a smile. It's the dead eyes that they have as well. And those two in conjunction is just creepy. Twitch would know a little bit about that. Oh, wait, she can't remember. Never mind. <laughs> pretty much. That's the mixed blessing of a data filter. In that case, you know, Truesayer is going to be about as congenial as he can about it, you know, not doing anything wrong. And of course, they ultimately, you know, couldn't prove anything. And he continues off in his merry way. And, you know, he nods to himself like, this is why I don't carry around anything forbidden. <laughs> Does anything happen to anyone else on the way there? Nope, everyone else makes it there fine. Um, the four of you uh, meet up. Uh, I'm assuming you're not meeting up inside the place itself. You're meeting up somewhere nearby. I believe that would be. I believe that would be a uh, smart plan. Planning on actually going into the hotel itself. I wanted to take a look around the surrounding blocks. You know, maybe where. Uh, 
you know, while the monocycle is pretty easy to park if, uh, if the rigger, you know, the wheelman's got his van, we, we gotta find a convenient place to put that where once we extract someone, we can get her to that in a, hopefully in an expedient fashion, especially if we're going to attempt this extraction during the daytime. <laughs> Especially in this wonderland. <laughs> so, a place to put the van. I mean, we need time to learn the layout of the building, and hopefully, you know, the wheelman figures out which room they're going to be in. You know, gotta figure out a way to get into the hotel, or at least into that room, and uh, take the target with us. I mean, worst case, you know. Again, speaking out of character, I can, you know, knock the bitch unconscious. <laughs> Well, all right. I'll tell you, and and uh, I was going to do this all in character. So assume you all are there, and uh, Coyote will discuss what he's got. He said, "All right. What I figure is that I'll send up this optic X drone, and I'll scope out the security and see what kind of entrances to the building we have and that type of thing." And he has really good security knowledge roles, so he'll be rolling for that. Um, I will also have, and he'll show you each. This he'll show you this little. Uh, uh, fly spy he said this thing I can have just it's 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 got a chameleon skin it can just sit there near near the entrance and as soon as the girl walks in I can have it follow her in um, and we can see what room she's in um, and we can do that from just a you know a block or two away it's not too bad um, I think I have yeah I think the sensors are 400 meters for both of those. I mean, for for the small one anyway, the fly spikes. They, I think I upgraded the sensors, so it shouldn't be a problem. You should be able to do that around the block anyway. Yeah, you certainly have a good enough signal for uh, more than 400 meters. I believe it's more than a hundred. I think 400. Yeah, I think so. I think that's for, because uh, it's a it's mini a, drone upgraded to a uh, small drone. And I think those have a sensor of three or four, maybe four. I yeah, it has yeah, a it signal has... of three right now. Yeah, that's on a signal. Yeah. Okay. can cover four kilometers. I know that because uh, that's what my comm link has. So uh, four kilometers is definitely sufficient. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, <clears throat> while you're doing that... Um, I mean, uh, on top of that, uh, uh, Twitch's bike has, um, it's got directional microphones, it has long-range cameras, it's got all kinds of stuff all ready to, uh, do long-range monitoring of whatever place we want. Right, and, uh, oh, Coyote will also say that, that he'll point to this modified GMC chariot, which all of you know is just kind of a utility drone. You see him all the time making deliveries. Um, You'll say this one's loaded with a gun with stick and shot. So if we do need to take her down semi-violently, uh, this would do it. Twitch will nod appreciatively. Something else, something, else, something else I did forget to note that I, I wanted to uh, do uh, on my own, but this works just as fine, you know, it doesn't matter. No one notices, I'm a fucking wizard, all I have to do is concentrate. I'm uh, going to be casting increased reflexes on the uh, sustaining focus. Uh, DM, GM, rather. Go ahead, bro. Be Force 3, because uh, that's the most that... Uh, the sustaining focus will be able to retain. Increased reflexes only gives me two hits, but uh, that'll be work. That meets a threshold of two, so I have plus one initiative and plus one initiative pass. And I go ahead and make my drain resistance test. That's three divided by two as one plus two is three. I uh, don't take any stun damage, and this will be sustained until I know I walk through a ward or I fall asleep or something. Yeah, wards aren't common out in the middle of the street, so uh, it's no problem. Two 
Truesayer is uh, amazingly gifted as per at perception, so... I guess he's gonna do... I mean, this is a tourist trap, and so obviously there's gonna be a bunch of, you know, kitschy, touristy trap things around the area in which to, you know, to do or gawk at, right? Around the hotel itself, it's, uh, not too many, actually. It's it's mostly a row of hotels, and then, uh, a nearby is a row of, uh, what is essentially suburbia. It's, uh, where the the workers live. Less than beyond that, I suppose next thing I can think of is to check for information, uh, a data search on the hotel itself. Go ahead and make a roll for it. <laughs> nope. I'm staring right at it and like, eh. <laughs> Yeah, you're you're sort of uh, looking around and you're finding hotels and it's it's Hotel McGeric generic name and then there's another Hotel McGeneric name and they have a very similar address. Which one is it? And it's just, just a mess. I guess what I'll do to keep my character entertained as the minutes dwindle past is to, I suppose, go down Hotel Row itself. I mean, of course, they'll have, like, AR stuff, but they'll also, I mean, I don't know exactly how they work in 27-2. Even then, they'll have, like, touristy trap things like brochures, I suppose, like hologram displays. This is what our amazing rooms look like. This is Virtual World Disney. He'll go down Hotel Row. He won't even start with the hotel that... Our target's going to be going in. But, you know, just to, uh, I suppose, blend in, I suppose. So that he doesn't stand out just looking, just standing on a corner for four hours. He can certainly do that. Uh, going down hotel roll, you see uh, AR boards, uh, 200 new yen rooms, uh, uh, 1,000 new yen for uh, this high-level suite, things like that all over the place. Um it's mostly limited to this area because the area all around the hotels are homes and a lot of people are shaking AR, uh, AR uh, arrows right out their front door. Um, a couple of people are, but, but uh, they're, those look more like uh, silly and annoying things. Uh, the, the hotels themselves are uh, fairly generic. Um, they're they're not high end ones. They're they're middle middle of the road, maybe even a little bit lower end for Fun City. Um, they're not they're not places where you're going to have a top level suite. They're mostly limited to about a few stories even. There's right. probably not even one on the road that's above five stories. And every single place has an underground parking lot. Okay. It's worth knowing. Worth knowing. What time is it at this point? Well, you met at 11. It probably took... What is that? Uh... Less than half hour to get down here, maybe uh, some time to think, so 11.30, 12 o'clock? Then, uh, then Twitch is going to get a, uh, a touristy Kishi uh, baseball cap, t-shirt, and maybe some cotton candy. Blend in. Certainly can do. Uh, Coyote is going to, you know, make it apparent. I mean, he's the wheel man anyway. He's staying in the car, but he's going to uh, send the Ken Mushi and the Dragonfly, uh, both using Covert Ops. Um, I'll tell you what's loaded up on him in a second for response purposes when it becomes needed. But, uh, uh, to, you know, around near the entrance to the hotel, and then he'll send the Optic X to scout, and he's actually going to uh, uh, remote control that. And so his, uh, 
I think it uses uh, sensor plus perception for that to look around. And so do you want me to make a roll for that? Yep, if you're uh, examining various things, uh, go ahead and roll for your drone. I'm looking to see what kind of security they have and looking for cameras and that type of thing. And I mean, I've got uh, Enhancement 3. I'm, I can't remember what that has an effect on, but Enhancement 3 and Magnification on that too. So you should be able to see everything. Being on the uh, Enhancement, because that would add to the sort of perception-y type thing. Does that actually do rating plus that? I wasn't sure. The yeah, it does. Yeah. Well then, uh, pretty good roll. You you notice that the the cameras seem. Uh, oh, oh, are you examining just the exterior or the interior too? Are you trying to get your drone inside the door? No, it's the it's uh, just the optic X. I'm just like flying. I figure I'd do like three circles around the building and other buildings too to make it mix it up. But uh, yeah, it's uh, seeing all that I can see and recording it as well. So you're, so you're you're staying a fair ways away, so your drone won't be noticed. Right. Yeah, I figure uh, I'm probably you know a couple hundred uh, meters up and out. I mean, it's just it's he's trying to make it look like just a drone, just flying around, just sightseeing type of thing. Okay. Then you notice that the uh, front door has uh, a couple of security cameras. Uh, they're they're pretty well hidden, um, but it's more of uh, for appearances' sake they're hidden. Uh, they're not really hidden where no one can see them. If you were to look for them, you could probably see them pretty decently from uh, ground level. Um, place looks pretty low security actually. It's it's not um. It's not somewhere where you worry about that kind of thing. It looks like it's uh, more the, the lower wage slaves that manage to get some vacation time might come out here. And so no one's really worried about these people. So security is pretty lax. Sounds good. I, I will uh, tell people over the, uh, over the comm link, I'll say... Uh... I've noticed a couple cameras at the entrance. I can uh, nullify those uh, when and if needed. Just let me know. There's also an underground parking lot. At least uh, this hotel is the same as all the other hotels down this road. Interesting. I'll, I'll go check that out. Um, and uh, Coyote will send the... Uh, uh, Ken Mushi down to see if he, you know, around the building and see if he can uh, find a way down uh, in, into there. He's not going to remote control it. He'll just get a camera feed to his uh, uh, to his comm link and just tell it just to search out search out the basement garage if there is one. What's Vice? Vice, Vice isn't very useful on recon. He's mostly just. Trying to not look inconspicuous. Okay, do you have some kind of stealth program loaded to your uh, drone? Yeah, I have a covert ops. I can make that roll. Hold on. Um, and he also has a chameleon skin. I think that uh, just is a negative four to being seen, but it doesn't factor into the roll itself. Ability modifier would be for anyone attempting to actually look at and spot the drone. That's what that yeah, does. Right. does. Any visual uh, attempts to uh, notice it are minus at minus four. Right. Well, he gets zero uh, zero hits, so I guess people see him if he tries to go in. Oh, I should have asked for you to do that to GM only. Um, well, eh, you notice your drone uh, 
bumps around a few things. It probably made a little bit more noise and things than it should have. Um, the garage is pretty standard. The garage is pretty standard. It's, uh, it's just sort of, uh, there's a single bar across the front that, uh, opens and closes, just raises up, closes down. Uh, if you were to drive through it, it'd, it'd give away. There's, there's just wood. There's a couple of cameras, um, aimed at it and in the garage itself. Uh, so you're, You'd be noticed if you went down there, if someone paid attention. But uh, again, no actual security measures other than just some what look like basic cameras. Is there a like a room key lock on the door? I'm I'm assuming there's some simple mechanism down there for security. Uh, there's the 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 entrance itself, it looks like it is where you uh, uh, do whatever it is. It's probably AR because you can't see anything at all that indicates how you get into it. Likewise, the uh, there's an elevator door, but again, you can't see, or there's actually two elevator doors, one right across from the other. Uh, they look to be directly underneath the hotel itself. Um, they again they don't look like uh they have any physical mechanism for the outside they look like they're just ar controlled uh any um like fire escape type thing not down here there's no there's no obvious fire escape i just mean like stairs instead of the elevators sometimes there are there if there isn't that's fine oh no there's no uh stairs down here uh that you can see looking around. All right, I will uh, allow, uh, I'll just kind of send uh, uh, the data feed of like the door and, and the surroundings to the group and say, uh, this might be a good uh, egress point. The only downside is that we'd be at the whims of an elevator if we tried it. 